the, the goal of the U.S. government uh, in this conference is to bring people together from the eight countries that are here, young people, people with enthusiasm and energy who can share ideas and who can find ways of working with one another and with their own governments and with our agencies like USAID for the purpose of doing youth development in a sustainable way. That means to have programs that will teach people greater literacy, that will teach people greater involvement with governmental activities, that will teach people better understanding of the political process. And I think we're doing that because it's so important that young people come to understand what's going on in other countries because they can find better ideas. And they're also hopeful of finding donors who will provide support for their programs, which is a very important part of this. My impression of the conferences are, are very, very positive. Uh, and I must say that much of what I report is what the other people who are with our embassy have reported to me, and they're very, very enthusiastic. The people from USAID and the people from our consulate in Casablanca have been working on this project for a long time, and they emphasize the enthusiasm of the participants. Uh, they emphasize the fact that they're here to learn, and they emphasize that these people have an astounding amount to teach themselves because they have experience that they bring to this event. We call them youth, but they're not children. They are people who are young adults who have the inspiration and the energy to do wonderful things. Yes, I, I think that the when people get together and talk seriously and they talk in an unhurried way, I think it's a very, very helpful thing. Uh, but I want to I emphasize what I said uh, when I just spoke to the group, which is it's very, very important for people to learn a measure of patience and to understand that the processes are slow at times and yet not to have that affect their optimism. It's important that they be optimistic, that they share a view of the future which is positive. Sylvia, what do you have to say about this? Um, I, I don't know if you can hear me, but I, uh, it is human nature to become discouraged when you try again and you hit your head against the same brick wall and nothing happens to go away and nurse your wounds. And so um, w the message that we would like to send to young people is that it might not happen today and it might not happen tomorrow, but if you don't go get discouraged and you don't leave and go away and just complain and say oh, nothing ever changes and there's corruption and this government doesn't work, then it won't change and so we have uh, lived a long time we uh, first uh, got to know each other through anti-war and civil rights movements and those things ultimately were effective although they were difficult at times and they should be they should be uh, I think it's uh, impressive that the country of Morocco, which is the only one that I'm directly familiar with, uh, is setting aside a certain number of seats in the new uh, parliament for youth. I think that's a very good step forward because youth will bring a new point of view. Uh, sometimes there are people who've been around and maybe it is time for them to retire and for younger people to get together. What I'm hoping is that out of this conference, people will become not only more optimistic, but more ambitious. And I would like to say that if we look around the world, many of the problems right now uh, are caused because 
our world leaders are people who have stayed too long at the game, people who should have retired and moved on, whether they are dictators or elected leaders. Um, it's time for a younger generation to take a look and see what needs to be done. Now, we are not members of the younger generation, and we are not ready to be put out to pasture, and we're not <laughs> suggesting that all people our age just move on. But if you have been in a particular job, in a particular place, in a particular role, it is time often to move over and let the young people uh, take over. And in the world of social media, I think that's a great example for for all of us because the youth have been the dominant players and the creative energy and uh, and uh, often the older people didn't want to listen but they persevered and they they triumphed so that should be an example for all of us yes I again would would say what we said when I spoke in there never lose your sense of optimism never give up always know that if you work hard there will be setbacks but you'll continue to move forward and i might say that that's how i feel in general about morocco and it's moving toward greater democracy on the compass of democratic activity the moroccan needle is pointing in the right direction it may wiggle a little bit from time to time, but it's going in the right direction. And that's the important thing. And these young people need to understand that they're going in the right direction, but they should never give up. Um, yeah, I, I, um, I've been impressed with, uh, particularly I must say, with so many of the young women in the region who seem to uh, have a whole, um, a whole kind of positive feeling that women can do whatever they want to do and I think this generation is very special in that way. Last night we were with a group of uh, people who were being trained, future future diplomats and future people who are working in the foreign service in Morocco and uh, a great many of them were women and uh, they were ready to move on to the world stage and I think that we have to start when they're pretty young and make sure that people get the kind of education that will allow them to do this but uh, even in the two years we've been here I think that we've seen a change and particular greater optimism in women's rights and women's uh, opportunities and so that makes me feel good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.